This time on Finnegan's Garage, we bring the C10, Square Force One, and the Rubber Duck back to Paradise Dragway in Calhoun, Georgia, and go quicker than this car's ever gone to this drag strip. Welcome back to Finnegan's Garage. Thanks for watching. Look, the gang's all together again. Do me a favor before you go any further, hit the subscribe button. Where's it at? Like this video. I think it's over here. If you're feeling froggy, the super thanks button allows you to donate to the channel so that we can keep putting connecting rods in blasphemy. Oh, yeah. how about, what? Yeah, and this time we're heading back to where it all began. We're taking the rubber duck back to Paradise Dragway in Calhoun, Georgia, and we're bringing the C10 and Square Force One. Hey, oh yeah. But, you, but right we need, but right we need gas. Buddy. Mm. We need we need gas. Yeah, we're not getting home. We're out of gas. In a few hours, we're supposed to be at a Paradise Drag Strip in Calvin, Georgia, for a sweet toy drive for the local kids and um, some drag racing and swap meeting. And last year, we brought this car. We never ran it because it was leaking. It's probably still leaking. <laughs> but we thought we'd try to run it this time, except it's been sitting for three months since the last time we ran it. Pretty cool. So we're at Paradise Dragway, and uh, before anyone gets to race, they say the national anthem. We drive down the track real slow. Cotton holds an American flag. Uh, rubber ducks broke, so we're taking the C10. It's not broke. It's just overfueled. You know what I mean? It's it's broke. Just, you know that that's still loud. <laughs> so, so is this my vision? So I can see how you're driving, and I'd be like, slow down. What I really wish is that um, it would show you how high you're off the ground. Why don't you put a height sensor on? This is a fuel injected vehicle. Why does it die? I don't know. Tuner? So we got fuel? It's possible we ran out. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. I guarantee you're out of gas. It's got fuel pressure. Yeah, but if it's got like a gallon of gas in it, it's going to have fuel pressure. That'd be pretty funny if we ran out of gas uh, in the middle of the National Anthem. No, it would not be funny. This thing's not running good, dude. Dude, you ain't got no gas. You ain't got no gas. I think we're, I think we're gonna run out, dude. You remember, you remember last time I was in this, we went out of gas. I ran out of gas and this, this is what it sounded like. I'm just telling you, we're gonna get halfway down this thing and it's gonna go, and then what? <laughs> I think we're about to run out of gas, dude. Yep. All right. I legit think we're about to run out of gas. So look at hey, we just this is you might as well just just coast. Look at this is nice. This is this is what it's like with an EV. If your truck was EV, this is what it'd be like. So this morning <laughs> we went to leave. I was like, Chris, we need to get gas. He's like, you sure? And I look in the tank. Ah, oh, you got half a tank. Half a tank. Ain't well, he drove 50 miles. Maybe it wasn't a real half a tank. <laughs> so you're saying we got quarter of a tank? I'm saying everybody better get out the way because I'm not I'm not I'm not touching the brakes. We gotta go down a hill, make a right, and up a hill. Oh, hey. Uh oh, wait. <laughs> 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 I don't like that. I ran out of gas. I tried to pop start it. We're trying. <laughs> what did he say? I have no idea. How you been? Did he want the flag? 
I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna carry it all the way down. Is it? But, is it extra patriotic <laughs> that you've got the flag and we're out of gas? So, so it's running bad. We don't know why. And the last time it made that sound on me, it kind of I, I ran out of gas in it. So I think it ran out of gas, and that would be typical Finnegan explaining of the world. You look so patriotic out there. I, I, I feel it. I'm, I'm part of it now. You did good. Thank you. I did try hard. Anybody needs a flag holder? <laughs> Caught. <laughs> this video real quick and I need to ask you one more time can you hit the subscribe button for me on with the show all right we're at Paradise Dragway it's Saturday we were up till like two o'clock last night trying to put this thing back together last time we ran it was at race week which was like three months ago and we actually had to rob some fuel parts and the carburetors off of this for a project for Faster with Finnegan and we just put it all back together last night then we had actually lost the fittings on the carburetor so I had to rob those from my house bring them here today at the track put this stuff back on and uh, pray that there's no leaks. We also changed the fuel pump to a bigger fuel pump because we were, we were running out of fuel at the track and it was surging real bad, which in turn had to change the regulator. So we'll go down the rabbit hole, but I think everything's ready to go. We're about to fire it up and check for leaks and uh, hopefully make some rips today. Last night at two in the morning, we're about to undo. So, the last time we ran this car, we ran out of fuel. We had too small of a pump in it for how much boost we were trying to run. So we got a bigger pump. It was way too big, way too much fuel pressure, and we couldn't regulate it. So carburetors work best between six and nine pounds of fuel pressure. Any more than like nine and the needle and seat won't stay shut and then they overflow and blow, blow fuel out the vent tube. Well, that fuel pump we put in there was for an EFI system that works at like 50 pounds of fuel pressure, but we thought we had enough fuel pressure regulator to knock the pressure all the way down. Turns out we didn't. So when we turned on our new fuel pump, it filled the bowls of the carburetors up and then just shot fuel out of the vent tubes everywhere. So now we're going back to our too small fuel pump and our old regulator. So we can at least have something to run and also either the c10 is out of gas or something seriously wrong with it because it doesn't want to run which means i'm probably going to have to drive the rubber duck home so we kind of need the rubber duck to work To me. I'm gonna suit up then, all right? So we put the new carburetors on and he changed out the fuel pump because the fuel pump was too big in the first one. So we put the old fuel pump back in and now it's back to normal. So I think he's gonna get suited up and we're gonna go try to make a pass in it. He hasn't run it here yet. He wants to see what it does. <laughs>
Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Rent a 6 0, so that's straight off the trailer. You know, no shock tuning, no tire adjustments, no nothing. So, hey, last time we were at this track, though, we were in the eights. I mean, it's a hell of an improvement there. Oh, man. It's just about time for a parachute, you know? It hooked perfect. It could take way more RPM at the hit. Drove pretty straight. Damn. This is the stomping grounds for the Firebird. It came out of a barn at the top of that hill up there. So, uh, you know, it's sweet to bring it back here you know, and keep, keep playing with it. I'll tell you what, after staying up till two in the morning, putting the wrong fuel pump in this thing and the wrong regulator, and then coming back in the middle of a car show, swapping all those parts again, and having it go straight down the drag strip here at Paradise, I'm a happy man. Woo! I'd like to. We need to turn the idle down. It's idling at like nearly 2,000 RPM as if it's got a vacuum leak. Uh, it hooked great. It, it would take more RPM at the launch. Like, I got to see what the guys want to do because I got to be honest, we're supposed to leave at like 1.30, 2 o'clock because we all got to be home for the holidays. Um, so I don't know. We'll power with them and see what's up. Otto, the guy who used to own this car, the guy who used to own this drag strip, who's no longer with us, I just ran into his grandson, Kenny, who told me that's quicker than they ever went in that car at this drag strip. So although we didn't beat our PB in Rubber Duck, I don't care. It's still running. It's still on four wheels. I didn't put it in the wall. And we went quicker than it's ever gone at Paradise Dragway. So we're done. We're out. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I know we can make probably one more pass today, but I just want a beer. See you guys next episode. You gotta like, subscribe. Super, super likes. What is a super like? Isn't that like like uh, something like Tinder? I'll explain it to you. What? No, not that. Don't ever say that. <laughs> right. Don't say this time on Fast Road Finnegan. No. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> but it's weird because we're all here together. I know, see? right? Like, this is like I'm not first, filming. This is the only way. First time we're all together, like on the film, mm -hmm. together. Usually it's like you and me, or me and him, or him and you. And you're not doing the work. Behind the camera is our. <laughs>